cute. Okay, so basically, I'm going to go on the article, which I've refrained from doing, and read out some of the main stuff. Which is fine. It's fine. Oh, I have been unfortunate enough to see some of her Instagram posts. She spends five to ten minutes pouring cheap paints onto a canvas and calls it a day. Literally talentless. Terrible work. Don't be a fool or don't buy any of this art. So mean. I'd just like to point out that like, I honestly spend like 16 hours a day in the studio. <laughs> and I just do nothing but work. I think what people don't realise is that for it to take the time that it does, I've been working to perfect a technique that allows me to produce at the rate that I do. I'm constantly experimenting with materials. I understand how the paint works now. I understand the proportions of medium that I need to put in. I understand how the mixture needs to feel in order to get that desired effect. And it's that expertise and that tacit knowledge that has taken so much time to build up to allow me to come into the studio and be productive and create at such a rate. There's so much more that goes into processes than just the amount of time that it takes you to actually do it. And this is just a point that I'm at in my career where I want to keep my prices low. And in order to do that, I've got to get hundreds out the door every month. So this is a typical hate comment that I was to get. I got one yesterday and said, making a million from doing something I could do with my eyes closed. This Instagram generation is messed up. Like, I'm sure you could do it with your eyes closed if you put in the hours that I did. I've worked for years working these stupid late nights and sometimes it is quite hurtful when I get these messages like late in the night, which I did when I'm in the zone and I'm thinking I could just take over the world and then, you know, someone just shoots you down. It does, does cut really deep sometimes, but I just have to remember that for every single hate comment I get, I must get, you know, a hundred nice comments. It's annoying that the ones that really affect me are the bad ones, but in a weird way, it does make me want to prove them wrong. I normally work harder that night, I'll stay hips for hours, so I'll be the winner in the end. sparkly, psychedelic, and being snapped up within seconds of being posted online. Sophie T's creative empire is booming, and it's worth millions. It's so easy to get lost in the negative comments, especially as a creative, and my biggest piece of advice would be to use them to keep going. And I know I'm not perfect yet, I may never be, but this is where I am now, and if people want to buy into that, then that's just the best news ever because they're supporting my next, my next step.